seahorses are amazing, magical fishes. They float around in the water like little ballerinas, and they do their pair bonding dances, and people are entranced. Down on the public floor, we have an aquarium tank of seahorses, and there's always someone in front of it just, you know, cooing over these amazing animals. Australia is the epicenter of biological diversity for this family of fishes. And I spent some time in Australia earlier this year, and I'll be going back later this year and then to Papua New Guinea uh, in March of next year in order to try to find these incredibly well camouflaged animals. I mean, the pygmy pipe horse looks so much like a floating piece of seaweed or a little piece of eelgrass. They're extraordinarily difficult to find. And when they sense your presence, they just sort of tuck their head and hide a little bit, like, you don't see me. That, that's what a seahorse does. You can actually pick them up by rubbing your pinky finger down their belly, and they will unwrap from whatever they're holding onto, and they are then the only fish in the world that holds your hand. Seahorses are coastal ocean animals for the most part, so they live in some of the planet's most impacted habitats. And when you start talking about coastal ocean protection, you can use seahorses and people will, will listen, they will care if you start talking about you know, not dredging because there's a healthy seahorse population there. I mean, it's a question of value. Do we really want to live in a world where we've wiped out all the seahorses? They are really remarkable creatures. And we deserve a planet that has remarkable creatures like seahorses living in healthy populations. And that's really a huge part of our mission here is to empower the general public to understand.